Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of some Sword Chronicles Awakening. We are back again on PB's account and um, still enjoying the game, plodding along, slowly but surely climbing up the ladder of things to do every single time. <laughs> There's always something that unlocks. I think level 80 is, mm, I want to say one of the more important levels. You will get arrays, you'll get all these uh, interesting things that I guess just add to your overall power. The game, it's never going to cease giving you something to do. I mean, let's be honest, it would fail if that that's what happens. Um, is there anything specifically you should be leveling up? To be fair, you, you have to do this 10 times each level in order for it to unlock to the next star level. Probably like work at one at a time. And um, I think if you look at it like here, you go to the source, uh, Realm Drills Unlocks. I don't know if that, uh, I don't know if anyone's really interested in this or anything like that, but you get free stuff. So that, like I said, there's so much, so many things just keep unlocking in this game and you get like premium rewards and all this other loveliness that goes along with it. But ultimately... It's very, very, very much free to fr uh, free to play friendly, if I can speak English. Um, so make sure that you are participating, or you probably will find that you will fall behind a little bit in terms of the power level. As you can see, everyone is moving upwards and onwards in terms of reaching, you know, the new heights for it. Um, but I'm not too concerned. This is, of course, my first playthrough account. I generally will play through um, on one account just to see what is going on uh, with the game, etc. Just to, you know, enjoy myself through the process. And if I decide to keep playing the game, I will then well properly on another account. But stay tuned for that if you would like to join their service. Now, in saying that, we have a couple of things. We actually have the pet recruitment that has appeared. Um, for me, at least, this is the first time seeing it. And uh, if you are still trying to acquire either of these, uh, Jiang Wei and of course Gong Sung, if you're trying to acquire either of these uh, limited time heroes or the new release ones, I should say, uh, make sure you're taking advantage of them for the recruitment function. Make sure you're taking advantage of some of these uh, store items as well. I actually don't know if these transfer across to the next event. Um, to be fair, I don't really, really want to build any of these guys, except maybe for some index scores. I do have quite a lot of her. Like, generically, I get her more than anyone else. Uh, I guess I could five-star her as well. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. Um, but we'll do some summons there. We're going to do some pet summons and hopefully get lucky. I know there is the guarantee at 40 pulls. Um, the game is generous. It seems to give you five of these, um, I, I want to say, I hope every day. I don't know if it's going to be every day, but but I do know that you can buy 60 of these throughout the event. Uh, so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll buy 20 of them. So that's 30. Now, hopefully we get lucky, but either way, um, we don't have enough gems. We don't have enough gems as it is to buy anymore, unless there is a, where is it? Is there another way for me to get gemages? from the VIP store maybe. Has this reset yet? I think I already bought the gems there. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think there's any way. Oh, actually there is, I, I lied. There is There is one way. Um, this event actually popped up, uh, a new bonus event. So I believe this is the skin, yes. And it's another 120 day event, but as you can see, like along the way, you'll get lots of the, well, you get a lot of summons, let's just put it that way. And obviously these ones are still continuing. Uh, this one here, the Dark Tides is ending in a month. So <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone's already plotted along and already achieved that one. So congratulations. Um, but in terms of this, I think, I think we're on track to at least be getting this one, uh, Hopefully, fingers crossed in 59 days. It is a lot of URs you have to do though, but um, yeah, it's fun. But in terms of this, um, I'm just going to make sure that whoa, there's nothing overly important here. I'm pretty sure it's 
well, like everyone's probably going to be able to get to like the first tier. So what is a rare volume heroes? Um, it's almost just like another refreshing of indexes, to be honest. It's like the game's just wanting to give us some free stuff. So most people will be in the boat where they've summoned this out already. I want to say like, um, naturally just, uh, with the SSR at least, maybe not the UR, obviously that's a little bit harder to get, but, uh, these were the, the common run, uh, sorry, common rares. And then you've got the three stars and five star rares. So we already really, I mean, well, we're halfway done, uh, just from simply doing summons. So that's interesting. Then we've got the rare heroes. So we've got at least two of those. So we maybe get some more. There we go. Um, even though these are really painful, <laughs> these, these are hard ones to do. I will say that like upgrading the rare heroes in this game, I'm, I'm yet to find it super rewarding. It's just really, really slow. Um, but you know, look, they gave us like free stuff, right? So because they gave us free stuff, we will go back into the event thing. Where is it? Where is it? Not that event thing. The summonings. Let's go to the summons. So I think we should be able to buy the guarantee, right? Um, we'll buy 10 more. So we should be able to get at least one of these uh, monsters. Now, interestingly enough, these two appeared. So I'm not entirely sure if you can actually look at it. The, there we go. Um, uh, Quang Kui. I'm going to... Quang Kui. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try anymore. Anyway, old mate Mr. Mr. Wolf looking dude over here. Um, he seems to be pretty much offensive based. Deals damage to all enemies. Extra 9% chance to enemies with more than three statuses. So he inflicts uh, statuses effects on them. I'm sure this probably stacks though if you have a team like um, Chao P. Even Chao Chao to an extent. Anyone that's debuffing the team or the enemy team. Uh, I reckon burning is probably classified as a status effect too. So pretty much anything that's inflicting an element on the enemy team, this will work towards doing and again, granting additional damage. Uh, if he does the battle skill, that is, and if he's in the assist, assist skill, when a battle ends, dispel two statuses from all allies and gain two stacks of undispellable uh, exorcism, essentially increasing the resistance up and then, yeah. I mean, it, it's... Uh, it's not bad. I mean, if you really want a damage dealing here, I, I can't see that that would be terrible. Now, in terms of this, though, what about you, old mate Quillian? Uh, Divine Fire. So, deals 85% damage to three random enemies, inflicting one stack of Undispellable Flame imprint. Very much like a Wu-type hero. Um, I, don't, I don't even know if that's really generic anymore. Coming from D.O.P., I feel like anybody anywhere could use uh, monsters and still get a good result. But anyway, final damage and final crit uh, decreased by 10%. So he debuffs the uh, targets. Um, if not less if not less than two targets uh, in the burning status, additional launches one more attack. I don't know if, if not less than two targets. So basically, if there's more than three... If there's three targets, uh, he does one more additional round of attack. In the support function, when the burning damage dealt by allies exceeds 30% of total HP. Again, burning damage. So if you've got a burn team, this is a mandatory. Um, then you have, what is that? Fury and a whole lot of, I've, I feel like this is an error in the display. Uh, deal 30% damage to all enemies increases the, the burn damage received uh, by all enemies by 30%. So pretty broken if you're running a burn hero. But these ones, these ones generically, I don't see as often. Black Tortoise is, I think, available from the uh, pet shards. Um, you get the monkey guy, though. What's the monkey do? You've got... Prime deals damage to back row enemies with the lowest HP, 40% damage to the back. He's almost like a, a second version of that mighty axe. So the weapon that attacks the back row damage, that, that's interesting. 
You have White Tiger as well. Uh, deals to deals damage to enemies opposite ally with the highest attack. Uh, extra 20% damage to other targets except for the main target inflicted. Actually, now, I, now I'm curious. Now I am legitimately curious as to see if, uh, if we go to... Bear with me. Well, unless that event's ended. Did the event end? Dang it, I think the event ended. Um, hmm. Let's have a look at my bag. Do I have any pet shards? I was super curious about that because I'm not sure if... I, f I have a feeling not all of these ones are available from the rare pet shard uh, selection that you can get. Um, well, I wish I had something that I could go back to. Uh, no, I don't think there's any events that are currently open that have that. Anyway, back to the, back to that. that that's the curiosity of me. I'm just thinking, surely there's a, um, surely you're going to have a look. Because I know the Azura Dragon's in there. Um, I knew the White Tiger was in there. I know the Black Tortoise is in there as well. Um, so this one here is definitely a support-based uh, monster. I would recommend trying to get that. Uh, if you have those rare pet shards, you need 90 of these and um, to unlock them. But I think the Vermilion Bird's in there as well. I actually don't believe... the Oh, maybe the Blessed Ox is in there too. Uh, in terms of assists, when the battle begins, grants all ally heroes Blessing of the Ox that lasts throughout the battle. Gain a shield when receiving crit damage, uh, which covers damage equal to 5% of max HP. I can't see that that's a bad thing to have a support that gives uh, basically crit mitigation uh, in the form of a shielding. But I would say probably a lot of players are going to go with this guy first. Now in terms of this, maybe, I don't know, should I go with the Ox or should I go with uh, the Offensive Hero? Now that we kind of have, I want to say a guarantee. Let's, let's just go with the Offensive Hero. Worst case scenario... <laughs> we've done ourselves a mischief, but I kind of want, I, I already got the, uh, the turtle in terms of support. I have the deer in terms of support. I don't really have an offensive based pet yet. So, um, uh, maybe we get lucky though. You, you never know. We, <laughs> we do have some pretty crazy luck on this channel. Um, so we may pull at the 38% or 3.8% chance to get it. Uh, I think in this one, every 40 recruitments grants at least a pet, uh, a wish pet card. Remaining guarantee counts don't roll over to next event. Okay. The chance of getting wish pet shards and other growth items is 96.2%. So that's the 3.8% chance of getting the jackpot and the rest is pretty much uh, all the other stuff. Interesting. Anyway, let's see how quickly we can acquire the pets. I don't even know what the animation would be for them. Oh, okay. So we got uh, we got ten shards, and we got some pet silver. We'll talk about that too. Let's uh, let's keep rolling. Another five. That's a lot of shards because we only need ninety. Okay. By default, we may just get it regardless. We might even be able to level this guy up if uh, if we don't pull him. Um, Hang on a second. I, I might actually do the math here. Wait a second. Let's go to the pet store. Uh, pet gold. Pet gold. Pet silver. Oh, maybe that's the ranking of it. So, Azura Dragon and Ox are in the silver pet category. And then the gold pet category. Oh, okay. So, Azura Dragon. But then you have the white ape shards. I think you have the vermilion bird. Yeah, and then the blessed ox. So maybe they're the generic ones that um, that you can only get from the rare pet uh, jade selection. Anyway, um, kind of want to go and just check this out. Bear with me as I go back and forth on this. Maybe we could do like a sneaky, uh, what do I want to say here? Where's my little pet farm? Where's my pet farm? Pet ruins. Let me look at my screen. No. Is it this one? No. I forget where it is now. Where is it? Hmm. 
Maybe we can have a look at my bag. Pet shards. Soul stones, equipable, heroes, materials, items. Where does one find pet shards? And support. I think we're on the right track here. Got to be character. Pet. Ah, there we go. Um, pet ruins? No. Pet ruins? No. Pet overview? There we go. So how many of you do I have? I have 50 of 90. Okay. So I need 40. Damn, math is hard. Okay, I need 40. I thought we were on to something. I thought if we got really, really lucky, we might be able to... I mean, look, if we get 40 shards and 15 pulls, then obviously I'm going to change the damn wish, uh, wish list. Maybe, maybe take advantage of this. I don't know. Um, who, oh, we pulled him. Oh, well, that's cool. So that's the gold ball. All right. Well, we managed to, to get, uh, 60 shards of him as well. Does it reset? Yeah. Resets. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, you never know, right? I mean, I don't really want to go with the burning guy. Should I go with, um, White Tiger, maybe? What was White Tiger again? What does he do? After the ally with the highest attack launches, uh, regular attack for the first time, White Tiger possesses the hero to obtain Undispellable, which lasts for two rounds. When having a critical attack, increases own damage, final damage plus 6%, which cannot be dispelled. That's not terrible, considering Zhao Un likes to crit like anyone's business. Hmm. Or maybe do we just go with this guy just, just because he seems to be like super, super rare. <laughs> I don't know. All right, screw it. We're just going to go with this guy. Maybe we can pull him. Who knows? Give me a gold ball. Give me a gold ball. Okay. No gold ball. Uh, we got 10 shards. Give us a gold ball. No gold ball. Well, you know, you know, for a matter of fact. We didn't get a gold ball. All right, that's fine. Um, however, we're only 24 pulls away, so maybe we just finish him off? Well, it said 24 pulls, but we'll go, go with 25. We'll, uh, we'll air it out. So we'll go with this guy. I'd laugh so much if we got him again. Like, seems to be... Uh, no, no gold balls. I think we're going to get the guarantee of this guy then. So 14 to go. And I, to be completely honest, I think I may even have enough shards. 85. We're only five shards short. Um, let's see if we can just randomly pull the five shards. <laughs> I don't know. Could be fun though, right? Come on, just give us five shards. Come on, game. I know it's like 10% chance. Yeah, we go. So we've got the guarantee with him, which means that and we're gonna go with then we're gonna go with um maybe another support hero, right? Should we go with double support with the shield for the ox? Screw it. We'll go with the ox. Uh so now we know we're gonna get the guaranteed copy of the ox. And we already, we, we actually beat the odds by one pull. Literally beat the odds by one pull. <laughs> okay, so we got the ox. We got this guy. We got that guy. I guess we're going to go with the white tiger after that. Um, hold on to your seats, ladies and gentlemen. We may solo pull this. It's been known to happen. Our RNG is not terrible in this game. And it did not happen, but that is A-OK. -okay. So we did manage to acquire 13,000 of these pet shards, which is, I want to say, well, yeah. I was going to say, it's at least one full copy of a pet itself. So we don't have any, we didn't get any of the gold shards. Actually, I have no idea how to get it. How do you even get one? Purchase from pet recruitment. Go to pet store. Purchase from pet, 
pit recruitment. Oh, oh, I gotcha. So it's in it's in one of the packs then. It's basically it's basically pay to win. Um, no wonder no wonder they have better ver- better variations of this one for the gold pet store. Uh, makes more sense. So we have we already got the ox. So what would would we would probably? I mean, could we two star the ox? You can only buy ninety. Ah, you can only buy ninety of it. All right, well, we'll just go Azura Dragon then, just get the guaranteed of him. So that means um, we 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 did pretty good. I feel like we we did pretty decent for the amount of purchases we got. Where's our where's the little thing now? So how many pets do we have? So where is he? Pet overview. So we got the shards for uh the Quillian. And we got Azura Dragon, and we summoned out the other ones. So then we go to the pet grounds. <laughs> I love all these little pet things. Um, should I replace you? Yes, I should. Should I replace the other ones, maybe? I don't know. Opens at 85. Ah. Well, there you go. We got the cool little burning looking dude. We've got some percentage bonuses there as well. Um, I mean, the deer kind of makes sense for the shield, but we don't necessarily need them now that we have the tortoise. So instead of the offensive one, do we want the offensive? Here's all allies. Yeah, we kind of, I mean, do I want the tortoise in offensive sp- position? Let me have a look. What's his defensive uh, ability? At the beginning of the battle, uh, unbreakable stack on heroes, granted two rounds. Uh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll definitely, uh, we'll definitely swap him and then we will, can I replace you? Can I replace you please? Damn it. How do I do that? Pet stats. I swear there's a way for me to replace you. No. Pet grounds, pet stats. Pet palace, pet palace. Oh, fancy. Pet overview, no. Pet ruins, that'll be interesting. No pet stats. Where do I? Where do I swap you? Support. No. It would be great if it was a little bit more self-explanatory. Squads, I know there's a way. There's got to be a way. I'm, I'm just being dumb. I feel like at this stage, I'm just being dumb. There we go. Pet gear. Oh my gosh! Probably someone was shouting in the, in the, in the chat, being like, "Dude, go to pet gear." So we'll go with the uh, offensive, and then um, support wise, we have the turtle, and then maybe the ox support when the battle begins. Grants all allies uh, a shield. Yeah, I guess we get what, what's this guy do? When battle begins, grants all allies orbs chance uh, each casting of divine weapon skill increases pet damage. That's not terrible. Um, what do you do again? When burn uh, when burning damage dealt by allies exceeds no, we don't do burning damage on this account. You know, I'll probably just go with the ox. Let's just go with the ox. Let me know in the comment section down below what your suggestions are. Obviously, I would love to know what's the best setup. Um, we did get some. We did get a little bit of power. We got, you know, I would say two million, um, two million maybe, two million in power. This guy's level sixty-seven, level forty-two, level twenty-seven. Definitely need to level this guy up. Um, try to get him up to fifty. <sighs> All these cool, cool things. But outside of that, I think we can maybe. Uh, Strongest guild. Yeah, number five. There we go. That's cool. We have fallen off a little bit, but don't worry. We will be back on track at some stage. Um, where's the other thing that I wanted to do? Where is the other thing? Ah, that's right. Kind of want to summon this guy out to see if we get lucky. I think we will get the guaranteed copy of him. Um maybe we get one before the guarantee, which would be great. Just because I need to... I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to five-star this guy. Okay, so we 
we may have got this guy before the guaranteed. Um, last but not least, hey, back to back. All righty then, I'll take it. I'll take them back to backs. Um, two out of two out of thirty pulls, not the greatest of statistics, but it is what it is. And then I think we can get some copies of him here. Um, maybe we also get lucky with him. The guarantee was Dong Bao. Again, Dong Bao. So we need to go ahead and get two of you. No, no, only two. Only two PB. So we can get the shards at 50 draws. And then we got 15 shards. I don't know if this will be enough for me to level him up though. So let's have a look. Let's go in here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not... Hey, look, you can't be mad at that, right? You can't really be mad. We did get him to UR4 uh, for the event. We're like, what, 200 short? And definitely do not have enough gemages <laughs> to to try to get him. But we got pretty lucky. I'll say that. I feel like we, we achieved a, a certain level of luck. Um, let, let me know in the comments section down below if you all managed to get yours up to UR5. Um, hopefully some did. Hopefully they, they achieved that. Obviously, uh, uh, we, we kind of went with Dao Chan here. We kind of went with Dao Chan. So let me see if I can... Um, I mean, I, I really hate buying this, but you never know, right? We may get lucky with a, a solid... No, nope, we did not get lucky. <laughs> uh, what about over here? Come on, Dao Chan. Appear for me. You did not. I feel like this, she's probably the worst one I've had in terms of RNG. I just can't seem to get her out of any of these events, which is which is really, really annoying. Um, but it was suggested that we try to use her because we are, of course, still rocking Lu Bu. So it does make sense to run her now that we're lo looking at uh, replacing some of our UR team. And yeah, just pulling them along here, still enjoying the game. Let me know if you are still enjoying the content. Let me know how lucky you went with your beast summonings. Um, hopefully, hopefully you managed to pull a couple out of your summons as well. Um, and obviously this event's going for another 12 days, so there's plenty of time for me to get another guaranteed. I may just try to fix the indexes first and then maybe start working on um, some of the support ones. I don't know. I don't know. Suggestions are welcome. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the previous videos. Let us know if you have any comments or concerns. Feel free to join our Discord as well. It is in the link in the description field below. And uh, stay tuned because I will start a new account. Maybe on iOS this time? We'll probably start another account. We'll start playing again from scratch. But I'll let everyone know on the Discord when that happens. Till next time.